good everyone my name is graphics in this video we want to reproduce the figure that is displayed in the right hand side of the screen and we are to reproduce it in isometric now since we are told to reproduce in isometric the first thing you do is to draw your isometric axis you draw the um, vertical this way right and you draw the horizontal this way and this one too and this too and this is the axis that we have here now if you look at this side the entire width here if you look at from here to here is the width right and that's given to be 40 this is the width the entire width of that figure and that is 40 so i'm going to measure 40 with my meter rule go from this point here i'll measure 40 and this is the 40 that we have here I will take it up with the help of my um, C square. This is my C square here. Placing it on my T square. Placing my T square, my C square will be having this. Now the next one is the length of the figure from this point to the ending of this point here is given to be 90. So I'm going to measure 90 from here, 90. So from 0 to 9 is 90. So this is what we have here. And that is my 90. And I'm going to project it up this way. Placing it on my T-square and I'll project it up. Now, if you look at the figure again, we have the total height of that figure is 40. That is from here to here is 40. So I'm going to measure 40 from 0 straight down to what? To 40. Then, if you notice it, what I did here, I draw a line this way. At angle of 30 degree I will move my T square my C square to that point also sliding it on my T square I'm going to get another 40 right I will turn it this way again placing it on my T square I'll draw another one from this point and I have this so what I used to draw this one I used it to draw this so they are parallel to each other all the lines are parallel in isometric I'll do the same thing here too. You can see that. Then I am going to close it up. What I used to do this here, yeah, I'll move it on my T square and I'll get to this point. And I'll do this too. Now this is what we have here. Right? This is what we have. I'll be starting my drawing. Since I've completely drawn out the box in which I want to cover out that image now the next thing is to start drawing from here now if you discover so from this point here I'm going to measure this point you're seeing here is this point on the diagram so from that point I'll measure 12 to the right and 12 downward so let's do that and see I'm going to measure 12 from this point I'll measure 12 this is 10 11 12 at this point here i'll do the same thing here too this is 10 11 12 backward here this way right which we know it is 16. now if i do that i'm going to do the same thing here also i'll measure 12 this is 12 from here this is starts from here then here 0 to 
1.2 is 12 can see that now what will i do i am going to join them together first of all let me start with faint line this way right now similarly i'm going to do the same thing here too i'm going to do the same thing here so instead of me come here to measure again i will just simply um place my t square my s square my t square and i'll draw a line this way i'll be parallel to this and i'll transfer my point from here i'll transfer it from this point to here is the same distance then i'll just connect these two together this way you can see that now the next thing is i am going to take them up up this way and this up also this way and i'll take it up too this way and i'll take it up to this way why am i doing that if you look at the height from here to here it's given to be what 10 so i'm going to measure 10 from this point upward or from this point any of this line i drew up i'm going to measure 10 upward so if i place it this way from here i'll measure 10 this is 10 here right now i can actually tick in the line so from this point i'll tick in here right i'll do the same thing here too it's always good to measure them one after the other so i'll come here also because from here too you measure 10 this is 10 right from here too you measure 10 this is 10 so taking and from this point two here we have another 10 here this is 10 so i'm going to join all those points together with the help of my instrument so from here to here i'll thicken it because in the diagram it is thickened you can see that also from here to this point too i'll thicken it because in the diagram is also thickened right and from here to here also i'll thicken it because in the diagram it is also thickened don't forget we are replicating the diagram we are reproducing what we have and i'm going to bring this line downward this way because you look at the diagram too this point is coming down then here also this point here is also coming down this way that's it that and i'm going to close it up too and i'll close it up too so we we'll call this a chamfer right and i'll bring here down to that again that what we have now the next thing we'll do here is this is to go behind here i want to draw out that shape we have there now we know that the diameter of that circle is 40 because the total length of the circle there is what 40 so what i will do in order to get an isometric circle is to divide this 40 into 2 and that will give me 20 so i will use my con my s square my ruler and i'm going to measure 20 this 20 here right i measure 20 there i also measure another 20 here this way this is another 20 here too you can see that then i'll take my s square place it on my t square and i'll draw a line this way and i'll bring the other line also this way 
now they are meeting at this point so this is the center right so what i will do is since i've done it that way i will also take my compass now i'll place it at this point the center here with the radius of this which is 20 i'll mark down here so i must complete a square so from here I'll close it up this way you can see that so the next thing i am going to do here is to um draw a diagonal a longer diagonal which is because from here to here is longer than from here to here then here i'm going to draw it passing through the center you can see that now i'll pick a point from this point here to this point here and i'll pick another point from this point here to this point here now they are meeting at this point so with the help of my compass i'll place it at the center here i place at the center here and i'm going to draw this this way you can see that place it here and i'll draw this this way There you go, I will do. And I'll come to this end here. I'll place it here. And I'll draw this this way too. You can see that? Now from diagram, from here to here is still to be what? 20, right? Which is from here to here. So taking from here to 20 so i'm going to take in it with the help of my um ruler or my c square to ensure that you are taking it from this point through down to this point and also from this point through down to this point right now if you look at this now we have a web and the thickness of the web is given to be what eight from here to here is eight right now what I'll do is, from the center here, I'll measure 4 to the left and 4 to the right. So I can easily take my um, rule and I'm going to measure 4. 0 to 4 is here. Right? And I'll place it at this point. The center here, I'll mark 4 to the left and also 4 to the right. Is that the key? And I'll come here also, I'll do the same thing too. I'll come to this line too. I can just easily come from this point to this point four that I measured here. I'll come here. I'm going to mark from that same point also. I'll extend it here just to save your time. I'll come here. I'm going to mark. Is that taking? You can measure that directly if you want to. So from this point, I will just extend this. I'll just transfer my point from this point here. This is the same thing as at this point here. And this one too. This is the same thing as at this point here. So what I'll do is, you look at from here to here is connected. Right? Both of them are connected. So I'm going to take my rule. And I'll connect from this point to this point. You can see that. Can see that? And I'll come here also from this point to this point. I'll do the same thing. Can see that? And I'm going to close here up to here. Yeah. Because it is closed up in the diagram. You 
then I will extend this a little bit to this point here. Let me bring it down. So from here, I will extend it this way, front line first. I will also extend here too, this way. And I'll bring it down. I'll show in the diagram. To this point here, I'll take it. You can see that? This is what we have here from here to here. Then also, I will extend this to that point. You can see that? Then I'll bring this out a little bit. In which I am going to take this down this way. And also close it up. Then I'll bring it down too, as shown in the diagram. Right? Then I'll take this inward. Then I'll close it up. Right? Now the next thing is, it's now the base here from our diagram. So what we'll do is this. I'll replicate whatever I did here. I'll do it at the base here. So what I'll do is I'll take my set square, place it on my T square this way, and I'll draw a line from this point. From this point here. Draw it this way. You can see that? And I'll bring it down too. Draw it this way. So they are meeting here. This point too. I'll just bring it down. This is what we have here. Also here too. I want to form the box at the base. So if I draw this front line, meeting this line here. So this is the box at the base. If you can see from here to here, to here, and here is the box. Now I draw um, a diagonal here. I will also draw a diagonal here too. Right, so that's my diagonal. Now I will now transform the point. First of all, I will transform this point, this center of this point here. I will, I will transfer it from here, straight down to this point. Right, and here, I will just take this down. It might take line. So I'm doing. I don't want to replicate that same. Um, it's, it's in, whatever I did here, that's what I was supposed to do here. But because I've already done it here, I don't have to start stressing myself in doing it again. I'll just transfer the point. That's why I transfer this point to this point. So I'll just take my compass, put it at the center point here, and draw this this way. So you're going to gauge it. Can see that? And I'll just close it up from this point straight down to this point. Now this is what we have there. Now there's still one more thing that we have to do, and that is the circle at the, the top of this shape here that is given to be a diameter of what 18. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure half of 18, which is 9. I'll measure half of 18, which is 9. From here to here is 9. 
and I'll place it at the center here. I'm going to mark to the left, to the right, also up and down. Right? Then I'm going to use um, my set square and draw out a box just like I did in the bigger one to draw a box this way and draw another box this way All right then come here to another box here passing through those line I measured then here also another box here so border the box so in this box, I will bring out my circle, but I can follow another procedure and the procedure is this using my French curve instead of using, I can hardly, I can simply use my compass, right? But I can use my French curve also. So in your French curve, you look for the circle that best fits in that box. Since I've drawn my box, so I can use my French curve and trace those, look for the best circle that fits in the box. So that's what I'm looking. So. I am looking at this to be the best fit, right? You can see that. So what I would also do now is for me to draw out the circle this way. And this is what we have there. That again, I can use my French curve or I can use my compass. But you need to ensure that your circle fits in the box you draw out. Now this is what we've done. We have successfully replicated that diagram that is displayed at the right side of the screen, right? So if you have um, found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.